Hi guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. This is going to be about what I do on an audition. I'm going to do a minimal makeup look. Get started or I will never start. I'm starting with moisturizer. This is Bioderma's something something. It's very nice for dry skin. It's water based so it doesn't leave you all tacky and stuff because I am going to go over with a sunscreen later on which obviously gets you tacky but I do like my sunscreen because my skin's very dry and it does give you a lot of glow and stuff when you don't have to put anything else I will leave a thick layer of moisturizer I will not massage it all into my skin and don't like come at me about how much I put my sunscreen this is actually enough I have a very tiny face I am done with my sunscreen and moisturizer now I will go in with this Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter on days like this I don't really prefer foundations because you don't really need the coverage I am only applying it to the high points of my face now I will be going in with a concealer which I can't find before that I will put mm, my primer this is silicon based so sometimes when you are going outside um, I don't really like to powder very much so this actually controls if I get sweaty or a little oily I only get oily here on my nose area sometimes that occasionally um, now we are going to spot conceal. I am using NARS. I don't really like this concealer because it's very drying. That's why I don't put it all over. I'm just gonna take tiny amount on my brush. The tiniest amount in my brush. I'm concealing my face. So usually I don't have a lot of discoloration over my face except my mouth area. and my forehead and a little on my under eyes when i don't sleep you can barely see what this has done but i can and if you don't have all this you can just use whatever you have i started with maybelline and shit that too worked very well but i don't use it now because they test on animals and something you should be considerate about but there are also very affordable brands that don't test on animals and are very clear actually elf is very nice they are cruelty free i'll talk about it that later if in a separate ass video what i like and what i don't now we are going in with my contour and i'm using charlotte Tilbury. i don't know what my shade is this is fair to medium that's all that it says on the tube I remember I was very scared of contouring and putting anything a shade darker on my face when I started makeup. It's a normal FOMO that you have when you start doing your makeup, especially on Indian skins. We are always tall and made fair, so it was always scary to contour. And now that's all that I do sometimes to give back shadows to my face is looking a little wacky right now it's gonna make sense in the end so when you're doing uh, no makeup sort of very light makeup use a lot of liquid products and when you want coverage use a lot of creams it depends on what you want to go for so right now the face is all snatched this concealer i really like but again, they are not cruelty free. This one more that I like, Clinique. But I lost mine, so I'm gonna use this one because I don't have any options. You might say, then why do you even have it? Because I bought it when I was not educated about stuff to use and to not. So this actually takes me longer than my normal makeup. I'm gonna take this. Lash. This is from Nude Stick. Just going in with the 
छोटू चिड़ी प्लेजर अगैन प्लेने के टाइम सी आई डू एवरी थिंग वेरी अपवर्स इट मेक्स यू लुक शार्पर एंड ऑल ऑफ माई फीचर्स आर अपर्स एक्सेप्ट माई चीज अगर आप फुली पाउड आर माई फेस आई एम यूजिंग दिस टू फेस्ड ट्रांसलूसन पाउडर दिस नॉट शेयर आई गेस दिस इज ट्रांसलूसन पाउडर पाफ powder in it just going to check if i have any creases and powder just under my eye i will take a little more powder and place it under my cheeks it just gives you a sharper look gives you a contour or a sharper look that's it this is just the base now we are going to do eyes i'm not going to do very much with them actually i'm not doing anything a lot of you might think that i'm doing too much because i'm putting on different products but i'm really dipping in and doing anything pull up bronzer and a fluffy brush i'm just giving my shadows back i actually did not put anything on my i like not even a little concealer i'm just putting i just like how naturally tanned my eyelids are and i'm just going to give that to them my nose with the same brush Just to give that puffy effect because my lower lip is very nice. It's very full, juicy, and everything. But my upper lip, right now, I have lip balm, but you can really see my upper lip. You can barely see my upper lip without lip lines and everything. So I just like to contour that as well. We are doing brows now. I don't really do much with my brows. I'll just take this Elf transparent brow and lash mascara. Everyone knows what that is. If you don't, what are you doing here on my channel, guys? I just take this. I just my brow perfectly, so I'll just. So I don't really go in with a pomade ever. If you'll ever see me doing my brows, this is exactly how I do it. Now I am going to go in with my eyelash curler. A lot of people do feel scared how I curl my eyelashes without even blinking or anything. This is just psychopathic behavior. But I'm very, very committed to have that lift. Straight up looking bald here. and look at this one so this is the extreme mascara i will take off the extra i'll do the tiniest bit I'm not going to do too much today because it can make you look a little made up so i'm just taking the same um like color bronzer again and just putting it under my eyes this is so good the same blush that we did i'm going to do the same color and i'm not going to put it in between i'm just going to put it over here and over here that's it I don't know what the shade is. I'll just chip that off. I'll show you later. This one last thing for the extra glow. Um, I'm taking this Gucci gloss. Um, some makeup artist like showed it to me once, and I was obsessed later on. It looks so good on camera, even even in real life. Our drawbacks because. You can't just wear it and go everywhere. 
it does move your makeup and it's not very long lasting so that's it for the makeup if you can see if you like anything if you have any questions you can put them anywhere on my instagram here anywhere just give me a call for fuck's sake so i'm not gonna do anything with my hair because i this is my natural hair i just blow dyed it and for volume i did a roller this sort of a thing i use them all the time i just don't know how to use them perfectly so that's it i hope you like it i do have a lot more stuff beauty related makeup related so you can subscribe and i will show you my outfit what i wear for my castings this is like very basic like bodysuit and jeans but i do have to pick my shoes if i want to be comfortable or kill myself today so let's see how that goes so this is what we actually have to wear for casting a bodysuit that i thrifted the jeans are from h&m <coughs> i can go softer myself and wear these boots instead i have to carry my heels separately so i don't want to do that this is what i'm wearing these are the heels and boots whatever you can call them 